In this video, I'll be showing you guys a review of this product from ORS Curls Unleashed, their hair makeup wax in the color Gray Galaxy. I use this on my gray natural hair and I'll be letting you guys know how it compares to other temporary colors that I have used on my gray natural hair. I use this product on freshly washed hair. Let me know in the comments if you guys have used this product before. To start, I'm going to be using Curls and Potions Chebe and Mint Growth Stimulating Rice Water. This rice water is amazing. I put I love the fact that it has a nozzle so that I could easily get it into my scalp. And the mint definitely is stimulating to my scalp. It feels really good. So I make sure I do a sh very short scalp massage and then I go in there with my favorite scalp massager I will leave a link to my review of this scalp massager that I got from Amazon it really helps especially for our edges and the top of our scalp to be able to get that blood circulating and help our gray natural hair to grow and continue to strengthen those hair follicles I then follow up with my favorite leave-in conditioner from Kinky Curly, Not Today. I love the consistency of this conditioner as well as the fact that it continues to add moisture to my hair because it's mainly water-based. So here I am trying some of this ORS product in my hair and I'll say from first impressions, it's it's a mix in between the Mofajung wax that I've tried as well as the Gemini Naturals gel. So it's not a gel and it's not a wax. I feel like it's in between. Um, it does get on your hand. So if you'd like, you can wear gloves to apply this to your hair. It applied very easily. And especially when you see the end result, you'll see that I was able to get um, good curl definition. I wouldn't say as good curl definition as when I use the other temporary dyes in my hair. I've also used this product in other videos. Um, I used it to show you guys in a live how I was able to color some braids that I put in my hair. So I still have yet to try this product when my hair is dry and it already has a styler in it because I found putting it on wet freshly washed hair I don't know it, it it wasn't the same experience I had with the other gels the other temporary dyes but then I realized I did not put the other temporary dyes on freshly washed hair so that could have been a factor I was debating on whether I was gonna put it all over my hair or not and I said you know what let's see what it looks like as far as white coverage for those of you maybe who want an a uniform color of your gray all over and you don't want the patchy look I figured I'd try it all over my hair so that you guys could see what it looks like so I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments what you think so far of this like I said if you've tried this product before or if you've tried another product similar to this that's your favorite please let me know in the comments I, I don't know if you could tell from the way I was looking. I was able to get a good amount of definition, but I was, I couldn't wait to see what it looked like when it dried to see if I really liked it. It didn't give too bad of a coverage. With Gemini Naturals, it's definitely a deeper color. So this is like definitely an in-between. It's not white and it's not really dark. So you're going to find... Um, you definitely have to it washes pretty well. I was able to wash it off of my hands I made sure not to put it on my nape or too much on my edges. You see it cleaned off really well Now you guys are gonna see the end results Let me know what you guys think of these results I feel like the coverage was not as well as the Mafajung or the Gemini Naturals It did give me some coverage, but it still looked a little patchy and here you could see it even got lighter. This was like maybe two days after I put it into my hair. And I wouldn't say it's as defined as I would like. So here you're going to see, I think it was like a couple of days later, I decided I was going to do my little pre-poo routine, let you guys know what it was like to rinse this out of my hair. Um, as you can see, when I put the oil and the pre-poo it definitely clumped, which makes sense because it was a lot of product in my hair. 
And what I didn't tell you is before I started this pre-poo routine, about a day or two after I put the color in my hair, I decided to put some Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Gel in there to give it some more definition because it didn't alone by itself. I didn't like the definition that it gave me. So when I put the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Gel on top, it wasn't too bad as you can see, but Again, I'm going to try this ORS again with first defining my hair with the gels that I like, letting that dry, and then after that I will put the color wax on top of that. I think maybe I might get a better result. But to be honest with you, so far the way that I prefer using this color wax is on hair that I've gotten like I said I used it on some braids that were blonde and I wanted to make them look gray I also used it on a bang piece um, and it was able to nicely distribute onto the synthetic hair because like I said it's a nice mix between a wax and a gel so I like the consistency of it and I like the fact that it's not too dark. Maybe you're not looking for a really deep charcoal color like Gemini Naturals, or you don't want something too light like the Mafajung hair wax. So this might be a great in between for you. But again, if my gray hair and trying these different products has taught me anything is you don't know if something is your thing until you try it. And I also am not going to completely give up on this product because like I said, give it at least three tries when you try a product and realize that sometimes the effectiveness or the results that you get can be based on the way you layer on the products. So when I try this again, I will try it with my hair already styled and put the gel on top of that and see if it makes a difference. I don't think it will, but I'm going to try and see if I am wrong about that. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments about this particular product. I think this is also a great idea if there are those of you who are just starting your gray hair journey and you are feeling like, I want all of my hair, I'm, I don't feel like waiting for my hair to grow, I want all of my hair all gray, but you don't want to do a permanent color. Um, because permanent color can is also another option but it can do some damage to your hair if it's not done right and it is a longer process so there are some who have been able to while they're transitioning the darker hair that they have put a temporary color like this on top of it and yes it can be a pain to apply it every single time you wash your hair but that might be an option especially if you have shorter hair um, if you have longer hair, it definitely might be more of a hassle, but if you have short hair and you don't have that much colored hair to grow through and you'd like to see all of your hair gray, then these temporary waxes are definitely something that you guys can try. So I look forward to updating you guys on how I like this product after I try it differently again. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I thank you as always for um, watching my videos. And I also want to let you know that if there are those of you who need some help with products or figuring out how you want to transition or what to do with your gray hair, I am offering one-to-one -one Zoom consultations. So please shoot me an email at nina at naturallygraceful.com if you would like to learn more about that. So um, also please let me know in the comments any videos that would help you on your gray hair journey. It is my pleasure to make them and I look forward to seeing you guys again on the next video. Thanks.